Hello, Timothy, and welcome to 2024. Another day closer to the end. I'm not kidding about that. And whilst I'm still working on our Redux campaign of the Mega Campaign, we're gonna go ahead and have another little game in Kaiser Redux. Because if there's one mod that is just pure psychosis incarnate, it may indeed be Kaiser Redux. Because every time I'm here, I see another nation that I want to try out because they've got some sort of interesting focus shriek. And I'm sure there are even more that I don't even know about, which is probably, or I should say definitely, the case. I mean, not even including all the little easter egg options you can do in the game, I'm not even sure where to start. So if you guys have more suggestions on who I should play in Kaiser Redux, make sure you uh, leave a comment down below. Hey, but the nation I want to give a go to today is Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Yeah, for a small nation that you wouldn't really think had too much to do, don't worry, Afghanistan has too much to do. Oh, well, not realistically, these are all different paths you can take as Afghanistan, and the one I want to go ahead and do today is bringing back the Mughals. Uh, but obviously, being Kaiser Redux or even Kaiser Reich, it's never as simple as just clicking that focus. No, you're gonna have to wait. Oh, well, we actually start off with some Gisales, which are straight up muskets switch you know that's a good start okay so i'm sure you've already figured but with afghanistan they of course start with the fourth anglo afghan war which we actually do need to win to uh get the path we want and we're going to win it with the power of uh safe scumming until i figure out how to win it oh that also unlocked a focus somewhere for us to complete just gotta uh oh there it is found it <laughs> i got a little lost in there lost in the south okay so on my first attempt here i'm just gonna attempt to take a good portion of the river here and see if i can actually make it down there i don't know if i will before the ai catches up but this will be the first attempt here okay so i think that counts as a victory i just rushed down to delhi we did get uh, volunteers from the germans and turks which uh, came in handy but even though i don't end <laughs> with delhi at the end there that is a win yeah let's just not talk about the fact they were pretty much halfway into my country there but that was a win we won it may have been one of the biggest bluffs of our history there but we we won we technically raided delhi and that was enough oh and we're now the Barakzai empire and that that's a pretty cool little flag you've got there, although I get the feeling this guy's probably not going to stick around, uh, especially with the <laughs> the focus I'm currently doing. Yeah, it's just put us in a pretty good position already. These are some very good provinces, and I cannot complain Eurasian Union. What? Uh-oh, you see what I said about him potentially not stick- well, he's dead. Died in the hunting pie, and- we won't look further than that. Oh, they're trying to do a little investigation into my brother's death. Uh, nope, don't think so. Not because I did it, but because it'd just be a waste of time. We've got more things to do. Okay, now we have secured our rule under the leadership of Nazrullah Khan. We can go ahead and move on to the focus tree that I want to do all along. So, with the rule line secured under Nazrullah, we now need to focus on building up the army to eventually take back India. And that's right, I said take back. As such, we are most certainly going to have to update our units quite a bit. Uh, starting with getting rid of the muskets, by the way. And now we don't have too much to work with. We did get a lend lease of some artillery, which should do us okay, but we are gonna need a lot more guns, a lot more new guns. Oh, and the world is getting a little bit crazy all over the place. The American Civil War is obviously kicking off. Interested to see who's gonna be winning that one. And uh, yeah, whatever this thing is, still not entirely entirely sure what's going on there. We should probably keep an eye on that one. Just gotta put it out there. Pooey looking pretty sick with those shades, my friend. Yeah, maybe I gotta give China a go sometime in this game. Uh, who should I give a go over here? Because there is a lot to do. And I know even in base Kaiser Reich, uh, apparently they're pretty good now. Oh, and there goes Hungary declaring war on Austria. I'm getting some PTSD from when we did Malta right now. Let's just never talk about the Malta game ever again. Oh yeah, I'm most certainly a little bit 
worried about the Eurasian Union. They are taking down the Turkestan Republic right now, which means they're going to be on my border. Okay, a lot's happening very quickly. Yeah, unfortunately, the Eurasian Socialist Union did go ahead and eat all of Central Asia there, which is annoying because I could have got them as an ally or even attacked them, but I just was not quick enough. <laughs> they, they went in very quickly. And I don't know if they have a war goal on me, uh, but if they do, which it doesn't look like they do, uh, which is fine. I don't want to come into contact with the Russians, put it that way. Uh, I think we have more than enough trouble dealing with the Entente right now, which is already a bit too large for me to deal with at the moment. Alright, well, Hirohito's brother is now in charge, and I expect there was no foul play behind it, just like there was no foul play when my brother mysteriously died on a hunting trip. Uh, plus, he has a weird hat on. But you do you, Yasuhito fly boy. Okay, so this is good. India is already at war with themselves. And I'm hoping the Dominion gets involved at some point. But uh, we're going to have to wait to see on that one. But when they are the weakest, I shall be going in and taking the rest of the subcontinent. Now, the only official backing I currently have is from the Ottomans. So I am hoping to expand my alliances out there. I would have had uh, Central Asia there, but... Let's just not talk about that one again, huh? Okay, so I now have the option for the conquest of Hindustan, which I am going to do, and we're gonna... <laughs> We're gonna try something out. So what I first need to take down Delhi is to actually get ourselves a alliance with the Ottomans, which is what I'm currently working on. Well, you know, that's if they'll uh, accept me. If not, this may be a little bit awkward. Yeah, I'm also really hoping that uh, Baradia here actually also goes in on the Dominion, so that's gonna keep them busy both ways, and then I can swoop in when they're both looking weak. Okay, so what I'm seeing is we need to wait for the big revolt in the Ottomans to have Happen, and then I can go ahead and continue down this path. So I'm going to go ahead and make friends with the Germans instead for now. Oh, well, there you go. It has uh, happened. And now it's time for us to get involved. I'm uh, just going to go ahead and move the army to the other border. And now i got to go ahead and save the Ottomans in four different wars. So if this supplier telling you anything, it's that wars over here are sure are fun. Not your New Year's right by wanting to Hey, your testicles right on off, Timmy. Uh, again, once again, the technique over here by the Afghans is just run straight to the enemy capital and hope they give in. Ooh, and there we go. That is one of them dealt with. No idea how much I should be taking here or what's worth it. Actually, I do know what's worth it. There's 102 oil sitting there. Okay, that is one down, and we're already looking pretty damn good. I gotta say that much. Now I gotta figure out who to go for next. Okay, don't want to say I'm carrying this entire thing, but I am definitely carrying this entire thing. I'm even using the Iranian ships that I got <laughs> from the war that I took at the peace deal to raid over here and getting quite a bit of result. Although I would like to wrap this up pretty quickly because India ain't gonna be there all day. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna be able to push into Egypt because they've only got this one tile here, so I'd probably have to naval invade in or something wacky and weird, but I'm not gonna bother wasting my time on that. As long as the rest of the armaments are secured, we're going back to focus on India. Oh, and I think our time to show strike has come. Yeah, we are not going to wait around with this at all, and I'm pretty sure it is going to put us at war the Antan. I highly doubt there is a peace out option for that, so we're probably going to be stuck at war with them, but who cares? Alright, in we go. Yeah, they pretty much had uh, nothing on my border there, so we are sweeping through. Oh, I was wrong. There is actually another peace deal, and I guess screw you uh, Beridia there, because I just got it all. Now, once again, our crazy Afghan diplomats <laughs> <laughs> somehow weaseled their way to more land. Okay, so quickly, before I go ahead and declare on the second one here, I'm just gonna build up the railway, so our supply is looking a little bit better. Oh, I can already go ahead and do a United Hindustan, so I'm gonna click that bad boy. Alright, so we've got three options here, and obviously the one we're picking is the true heirs to the Mughals. There you go! Oh, that's great too, yeah, look at that. It already gave us a core state on Delhi as well, and I 
I think we get a few more around. Not sure if we get them on all of India. I'm assuming we do. Yes, we do. Okay, this is great. Oh, yeah. Okay, here come the factories on the manpower. All right, we're in a great spot right now. Taking over the rest of India is probably going to be a bit more difficult, but they are at war over here, which is making me hope and think that they're not exactly going to be in tip-top shape when I go in. Okay, yeah, I haven't checked in on the rest of the world in a while. Everyone is slapping each other. Yep, I don't even really know how to start on who's on whose side here, so I'm just not going to. I was looking at the uh, Americas of War over here, and it's being run by the Pacific States of America, by the looks of things. Or at least they have the best chance here. <laughs> then, uh, they're led by the Democratic Republican Party, who are radical socialists. You know what? Sure. I ain't even gonna question it. So I love the fact that we just have a focus called Modern Warfare, with the, um, the Modern Warfare art. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna sit around too much longer now. I am going straight in. Not sure if we'll be able to push them, uh, immediately, but I can get so many Mountaineers that I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. And I'm also still just being funded by the Germans because I am still a war with the Egyptians. So, uh, yeah, they're loving me and funding me. But I think they've got a lot more they should be worrying about. Oh, yeah, okay, so Barat is looking pretty powerful. Uh, even by the low regards here, there are a lot of troops on this border. I'm just really betting that the Kingdom of Burma has been such a pain for them that they're not in the best shape. Oh, I'm going to bet from all those green arrows that I was correct. Okay, yeah, I'm also going to bet that uh, they either don't have any they don't have any air and my cast is free to just bomb them. Uh, well, thank you the Kingdom of New England. I will take the free A17 Drifter Mark 1s. Uh, not entirely sure why you want to be friends, but we gotta stick together, me and you, Henry. Hey, yeah, I did a few uh, little micro bits there. I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble at all, so I'm just gonna hit the funny go button. Yep, I think it's safe to say divide and conquer worked in our favor this time around. There we go. And we, <laughs> 228 factories are looking very nice. All right, now we still have a few war goals. Uh, we gotta go ahead and get the rest of our India. Oh man, it is no look good for the Germans at all. The Eurasian Socialist Union is just rolling over them in the east now. Uh, except over here in Ukraine. I don't even want to know what that front line really looks like down there. Okay, now I could go ahead and try to save the Germans, but that would mean going to war in Central Asia, which... Ah, that's not gonna be fun. Alright, okay, first things first, let's try and end the war that the Ottomans have been stuck in for ages. Okay, so I don't have Marines, so we're gonna have to work with the Mountaineers again, and I can only do five of them right now, because I don't even have the naval invasion tech, so I'm just going off one of the uh, little military staff things that gives us five, and we're gonna see how this goes. Oh, yeah. Ooh? Actually, it could be done. Yeah, I think it could be done, but we do need to get that uh, landing. And also, it would be helpful if we got a little airbase down there, because I can't use the Ottomans one, as we are not in a faction together. But yeah, I do not think we're going to be having time to uh, save the old Germans there. Yep, Germans just collapsed, and that has given us two promises up here at least. And a giant Russia... Hmm. Well, I ain't gonna worry about that. We'll figure that out after we deal with Egypt, finally. And I'm gonna try my naval invasion down here to take pressure off whilst my other army comes from home <laughs> to now try and push here. Okay, we actually got the port, which is fantastic. This means eventually we should get an airport down here and then it's just over for the Egyptians. Okay, there we go. We've cut off Sudan, which means any troops down here are now destined to um, stay down here on top of the ground or below it. And the armor's also pulled off naval invasion over here too. That's probably split their forces even more. And there you go. That's all the Forces in Sudan dealt with, and our uh, rest of our mountaineers are just kind of walking up unopposed behind their lines here as well. I don't think they got the memo on this one. There we go. Now, I have no interest in land over here at all, I think. Uh, there's nothing really good. You know what? I'll take that. Never mind. Uh, I mean, Egypt has a few boats. I guess I'll take those. But as for actual land over here, I guess I'll take Yemen and we'll, uh, we'll leave it at that. And, uh, we are not... Oh. 
I guess, I, I guess I'm at war with the Indo-Chinese Union. <laughs> well, since I guess we are no longer in a rush as Germany has already fallen, I guess we'll just go through Burma to get to them. I'm not too sure what occupied Germany really entails, but uh, from a look at that picture, it's probably not too good over there. Oh, and the Pacific States of America won, just like we thought they would, and they've also haven't retaken New England, so I guess... Henry! Hey, not bad, and that actually gave us a bit of uh, rubber as well, which is going to benefit us because we need tons of planes now as we're doing the unthinkable. Now, supply on our side, not that bad, but it's the supply on the Russian side that I imagine is going to be pretty much non-existent as soon as we move into it. Oh, I just realized for some reason uh, they own the Maldives too, and also this land right here. No idea why, but they do. Okay, well, as soon as my naval invasion is ready in 20 days, it's going to be into the fire. Oh, yeah, this wouldn't be a Kaiser Redux game if you didn't get to a uh, late game, and it runs like a snail. I did go ahead and get a battleship off the Indo-Chinese Union as well, so I'm going to go ahead and make that uh, Pride of the Fleet, and this thing's actually pretty decent. Okay, right, naval invasion's ready. <laughs> Let's see how this goes they were literally dropping their own units on the port as i <laughs> actually arrived yeah they did stand a chance oh yeah they do have loads of fun submarines though that's going to be a little bit bothersome yeah that's a lot of submarines yeah i was uh gonna invade ceylon didn't realize that they were even here wait can i just cross into Sa hold on a second they just they just keep pouring more crap into this naval battle <laughs> I just need to uh, take down Ceylon, close this sea zone, and never look back here ever again. Uh, just gonna go ahead and now uh, close that sea zone, and just never, ever look back over here. So, uh, having a little tussle in Central Asia sure is fun. Ooh, uh, just got myself a pretty nice and circle man on the front line though. Oh, and they're gone. Very nice, but uh, there's still 10 billion more to go. And that's another lot of units encircled. It's really fun, by the way. Did I mention how fun it is to fight here? Every single battle just immediately just gets de -orked. I get in, I get de back out. They move in, out, in, out, in, out. Shake it all up, out. Oh, Forgot those were in the game. Oh, so Japan actually is now in the war. I don't even know when or how they got involved, but he's here. Flyboy is... Well, he doesn't actually have any connection with them, so I doubt he's doing anything. Yeah, unsurprisingly, the uh, casualties are looking pretty disastrous on both sides. Now, we have beat them down to 0% war support, but we are also getting beat down. 91% lost due to combat casualties. Woo! Oh! Yeah, they just capitulated before I thought they would. Okay, you may have unintentionally missed some stuff. Well, yep, there's a... A hefty amount of stuff in the bank now. Yeah, so you can quite literally see where the army made it to. Um, yeah, they they went down before I thought they would. I, I didn't even get to that capital either, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but they were on 0% war support, so I probably should have taken note of that. Uh, I do have an autosave, so I'm just going to very quickly go back and see what those casualties ended up at. So even the game crashed. That was fun. Oh, guess we don't get to get a look at that. But uh, yeah, there you go. The war was won. And it was most certainly probably very costly. Uh, but yeah, as soon as I just de them, it was pretty much an over run first and then when i cut the railway here at omsk everything in the east just uh died of no supply i was sad as i was gonna unleash some submarines of my own but i completely forgot about them until i zoomed back in over here <laughs> oh those 91 will look very good next to the 125 i took from them in the peace deal yeah but that is most certainly all she wrote for this one uh there is the mughal empire which its name has moved up to russia just a little bit hey but we also got ourselves the Germans back, and Poland, and Bulgaria, and also... I thought it said Denmark. 
Huh. Oh. Yeah, of course. We liberated Denmark in Greenland, where they deserve to be. Yeah, that was very fun. I mean, the, the Central Asia slog was uh, uh, not very fun, unsurprisingly. But as soon as we broke them and just started running over them, it was fine. Sorry I didn't show that. Uh, it's mostly down to the fact I've been here for hours at this point. Yeah, I can't remember what year that war even started, but it was a very long one, put it that way. Especially since the game runs so slow when you get to this point in the game. But anyway, uh, that was just an added bit of war anyway. The main war was obviously uniting India, which was the most fun part. Oh yeah, and I guess also saving the almonds. But hey, either way, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe down below, and please let me know what other nations you'd like me to check out in Kaiser Redux, because I know there are some good ones in here i just don't know which ones they are but yes hope you're having a great start of your year little timothy's and until next time smell you later